Holly ho everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Song of Frontier Remastered. I have done quite a bit of grinding. So let me start off with Riki. Uh, Riki is set, ready to go. I have Petrifying Gas Fang and Tail Swipe to maintain Black Dragon and I got Flaming Veil. Don't ask how long it took me to get Flaming Veil. Uh, to maintain a second form. That would be, I think, is it, what, is, what is he right now? Yeah, he's still Black Dragon. Um, so that's for his second form. Kylan, however, now Kylan, I've gotten rid of some of his magic. And in fact, I've got Vanish lined up to be the next thing I lose. I've got Frigid Smash and Frost to maintain his form, uh, as well as Kylan's Song to make him swap back and forth. Basically, these are his the two forms I plan on swapping back and forth between. The downside is this is also actually has two forms that it's in charge of, um, but as his stats may increase, I'm hoping to get the second form more than the first. Uh, and he has Magnetic Storm just for giving him another option besides Reverse Gravity for AoE. Um, I'm keeping Vapor Blast, Vortex, because I do... I don't know if Vortex is going to be useful, but it's going to be more useful than Vanish. Um, and Reverse Gravity, of course, because it's a really good AoE, does stun, it has saved me a lot while farming. In the process, Dr. Nusikun has gotten a lot of HP. I haven't absorbed anything else. I was, I was going to absorb a Suzaku into his boots, but I did get one into his gloves. I, think, I don't remember when I did that, but that's what he is right now. Uh, he's got Dark Sphere. He's got Tower. He is basically good to go. Um, yeah. Mei Ling actually has all parts of DSC and Sky Twister. And then Feon has Rock Shaw and Triple Dragon. And then I have him with Swayback. So Feon's ready to go. I have... Uh, T260 in the background. If I may go and get some stuff for him later on, uh, but the biggest thing is I just need to get him some uh, techs, some uh, mech, um, mech abilities. Um, that's like the only real grinding I still need to do at this point because he does have some, and Combat Mastery is definitely what I need to equip on him real quick. Um,. Disruptor is not going to be useful. Hypno Flash is not really going to be useful. So we'll just throw Evade Cannon and Evade Rocket on him right now. Um, yeah. So we are here because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and t take on the Bio Research Laboratory. Because we do have two things that we're going to do here. If I can... Where's the door? Come on. Let me open the door. I have done this. How many times in the past? Thank you. <laughs> I have been in here so many times having to run back and forth to heal. I got to the point where I actually stopped. Uh, I just quick saved it and did a bunch of fights and then reset. It took me hours to get Flaming Veil. Anyway. This is not going to be hard. Cotton. My friend, my fellow monster, you will suffer no more at the hands of these lunatics. Uh, I was still working on that. Oh, I should have gone over there. Oh well, it'll be okay. We'll just use Phantasm Shot to kind of keep their WP for, for the later fight. Because, I mean, come on, we're here, we're going to be fighting the Earth Dragon. Dragon versus Dragon. But, the reason I have that... Oh, Death Senses actually didn't let me change. Okay. Ice Worm is the one that I don't want to get, but I don't think I have the stats for the other one yet. So, if Ice Worm's not a bad transformation for Kylan. It's just not as helpful as it could be. Hey, hey, Cotton. That's what I wanted to ask you. Whatever happened to that interregional bandit case? Yeah. Which we know what happened to the Interregional Bandit case. Tanzer happened. Surprised the Fuse doesn't know about that. Anywho. Wait. Go this way. Ugh. 
Ooh, okay. The gelatin in the back is actually gonna be a problem. Uh... I need to focus everything on it real quick, because that sucker is a pain. It's actually more annoying than the Zero Worm over there. And the Zero Worm is technically stronger. But we know how powerful gelatins are. Let me speed it up just a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip, uh... I forgot to equip our buddy. Alright, let's absorb the zero one. Huh, we're just not changing right now, okay. Not that I'm arguing with that. I am not complaining. Actually, I wonder... I wonder why we're not changing, because I was when I was testing it, I was changing back and forth constantly. Hmm, oh well. Not gonna argue with it. At least Kylan is changing back and forth. Um, let's go ahead. I mean, let's keep the dragon form while we're in it, you know? You know, while we're here, though, there's something I want to show. Not rain of life, gust. Photosynthesis on something that's made of ice, or at least prefers ice. It's kind of silly. Um, but in here, if you remember, this is the room that we saved the people from. And if you go in here, if you notice, there's a, a guy on the right who's unconscious and a guy on the left who's basically nothing but a skeleton with a floating head. That kind of shows you what happened to those guys. And the same thing with the mystics up top. Um, the, the, lions, the scientists inside the room where you save the mystics from are all mystic monsters. I'll show that off on the way through. Anyway, we have the head researcher here. I still forgot to equip Kylan. Might be a problem. Oh well. Alright. Dragon versus dragon. Come, brother. Switch to Vapor Blast just because it's single target. Um, yeah, let's move to Sky Twister and Rock Shot. I think I'm going to use Rock Shot. <laughs> Vapor Blast, Dark Sphere, Dark Spear, Sky Twister. Okay. That did look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Swallow. Oh no, you bit the flaming dragon. That's probably not a good idea. Just saying. Oh, I didn't count. Maybe a saliva protected him. Um, I guess petrifying gas, but I don't think that's gonna do much. Might combo though, and if it combos, that'd be worth it. Let's do triple dragon, because I know triple dragon combos with a lot of these things. Triple Dragon, Petrifying Gas, Sky Twister, Dark Sphere. She just started casting just a little bit earlier there, Doc. <laughs>
Now that's gonna hurt. Okay. You're hurt the most. It does look cooler to have it the other way around, where Dark Sphere is on there as she comes down with a tornado. Ball bearing. This is the move I was worried about. Okay. Just don't hit Riki and we're good. I mean, okay, please don't hit Kylan several times, but still. Seriously, leave Kylan alone. He didn't do anything to you. Why are you hitting Kylan so much? <laughs> oh no, he hit Riki. Oh... He did not like Kylan. Kylan has one LP left. Okay. Let's, uh... I mean, yes, you heal for 4 HP, but that didn't do much for you. Alright, let's go to the reverse gravity. Oh, right, I have Griffin Strike, I forgot all about that. Reverse Gravity, Petrifying Gas, Griffin Strike. Oh no, he stepped on Riki. Dark Sphere would be better because of combos there. Oh no, more ball bearings. Well, Kylan's dead. Come on, stop hitting Riki. <sighs> really? Seriously? What is this this unprecedented bias against one target? Oh my god. Triple Dragon Sky Twister. I mean it would suck if this killed it, but at the same time it'd be nice. I'm not gonna lie, because unfortunately he doesn't get he doesn't give you anything really that great whenever you absorb him, so. And Gus Sky Twister.
I guess that healing came at a good time there. I suppose I can show off Ghostly Cannon just to have it showed off. Oh, she's only got one more Sky Twister in her. Ha! <laughs> 900 damage is what finishes it off. That's funny. And just because we can. We got Earthquake. Yay! So let's claim our dragon shield, give it to our doctor, and away we go. Now I can tell you I've done some reading, I think I may have mentioned it before but I'm definitely going to mention it now. There is a super boss that's actually in the game besides Earth Dragon. Unfortunately, the only way to get it is to beat all the characters, including Fuse. Um, it's not something I'm going to be showing off, I can promise you that. It is, from what I've read, completely and totally unfair. But yes, these three guys, if you notice the chamber's empty, all three of these are uh, mystic enemies. And it's interesting to think about the implications of that. We already know this happens after Acellus' story, and from the look of it, uh, Acellus didn't rescue them. Any of them. Anyway. Of course, that's to say that who's to say that they didn't just go get more says subjects after she saved them? That is also possible. Um, so we saved Cotton, got our Earth Dragon kill. Let us go and do one other thing before we continue our little, oh well, our little main quest. <laughs> we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna grab, go by the dojo and grab Mind Magic for uh, Feon, and just because we can. I don't think anyone else really needs it. I'll give it to Mei Ling. Why not? Now I wonder, can I get the gift on me on, on my humans here? Yeah. Everyone who goes in automatically wins if uh That he's the only one of the only ones that didn't go in. So everyone got the uh, got the uh, gift, even those who I haven't buffed. If he's already had it, uh, like Annie. So yeah, just like Omble or the Luminous Labyrinth. Now in that event, let's go to Feon and let's give him Mind Heal. I'm going to take off Swayback just because it's not that useful. I like having uh, Ogre Rush for AoE because he doesn't really have much in the way of AoE, to be fair. I mean, he has Light Magic. I guess I could give him... Oh, yeah, you know what? I could give him Flash Fire. There we go. All right. Oops. So, we need to go to Kurong, and we need to head, get ready to head to Moss Paraburg. So, before we head there, I need to go to Kylan. I need to actually go ahead and equip Kylan. Um, we're going to give him Purple Eye, and if I... Do I have another? Oh, I don't. Oh. Intelligence. We really need concentration, so I'm gonna give him the, con the hero's ring for concentration. 
And we'll give him the healer's ring as well. I'm gonna get him a harmonium. Actually, okay, let me take her harmonium. There we go. Alright, he's at Guardians and Merchants. Trying to think here. Would any of the rings benefit him more? Giving him the ability to increase everyone's attack may not be a bad idea. Okay. We are healed, right? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure because this is uh, this is going to be a trip. So we're going to Musperaberg. Let's go see what uh, our buddy up here has to say about us. A challenger for the ring. I haven't had one for a while. Look. Take the ring if you can. But I won't let any wimps challenge you. There are eight rooms in the palace. Visit each room to find its secret. After you get all eight keys, then you can challenge me. So, there we go. Now, the key to this is that there's eight rooms. These rooms each correspond to one of the, the rings that we already have. If you come here first, you can't get into some of the rooms. In fact, if you come here first, you can only get into one room. The room that... the... well, I guess two. Okay. So, yeah. Our task is to basically survive. I'm still gonna try to show off this. Um, let's not... Yeah, we'll just use Phantasm Shot. I don't know, this thing may not survive Gust of Vapor Blast. Ghostly Cannon Phantasm Shot. Yep, it's just a blue laser beam. Oh, that thing has a lot of HP, actually. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up now. Um, let's go ahead and use Energy Chain. Now we'll have him you know, sort of the Chimera. We've got Trample, and we changed. Now we're a Suzaku. That's right, Suzaku is our other form. Now the mouse jumped into that barrel. Let's actually just use reverse gravity. Pounce and now we're a Trisar. That's the only downside. Feral Pounce will turn you into Trisar. Does kind of suck. Mm. Thankfully, that's a fire move. Oh, 
Let's actually absorb the sunflower. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now he's a. Oh, no, he didn't become a Tristar. And that's probably because he doesn't have the other stuff that merges with Feral Pounce. There we go. We got the ring. Or, I got the ring. We got the mouse. Alright, we got one of the Virgil keys, so now let's just get out of here. So that rat room is complete. Next one. Uh, this is Pac Man, basically. Uh oh. I got touched by a ghost. In case it wasn't obvious, Snowfolk is the other thing I was trying to become. I thought I saw that. Yeah, they get a lot faster when you get all the things there. Makes it much harder to escape without getting hit. My juking skills aren't that good. How dare you almost kill my Ice Worm buddy? No, he gusted me instead! Virgil key. Alright, so that's two. Yeah, it doesn't fully heal us, I'm afraid. So we will have to leave to heal. Number three. Number three is a... yeah. Everyone you pick that's wrong spawns a skeleton, if I'm not mistaken. I think that spawned the, the key. No? Yeah, oh god, Dullahans. This is gonna be rough. Okay, I need stun. So hopefully reverse gravity hits him. I'm actually gonna go all out on this thing, because Dullahans are very annoying to fight. Ooh, I got lucky that combo actually killed in one shot. Charming Gaze, okay. Oh god, I gotta fight Dullahans if I fight these guys. All the more reason to juke them. You guys stay up there. There we go, okay, that gave me the ring. Or a key, whatever. Oh boy. 
Uh, yeah, you follow me this way. Marching skeletons. Bye! Oh no, I got, I got hung on the graves, so no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? And Mei Ling just got sat on by a horse. So one of the reasons they're so hard is because their tendency to block. Um, I've got entire rounds where I've just gotten blocked by every one of my attacks. Oh, huh, Stampede. Not bad. I don't know how useful that is. But it's a move I hadn't absorbed before, so we'll go with it. Goodbye, Skeleton. Alright, and now I'm just gonna save, because I don't know what's in this room. I can't remember. There's one of these rooms that's very annoying. Oh, this one's annoying, but for a whole other reason. Yeah, this is a tournament. I got Beetlejuice. And Scream. We have to fight the Mystic Monster. Oh, it's the Living Artifact ones. Okay. That was easy. Uh, let's absorb the armor. Charge. And let's absorb the musket. Seed cannon. Okay, then. Yay! We claim the prize. Alright, let's get out of here. Okie dokie. Um... Yeah, I... I think we can try a couple more. One thing we're low on is JP, so let's try this one. I guess I need to show off the rings eventually. Oh no. Oh no. I found the one I was hoping I wouldn't find. Folks, this... This is... Magma Slimes. Magma Slimes are... They don't hit your... Uh, how do I put it? They don't hit your uh, HP. They go directly to life points. <laughs> Magma Touch. Yeah. If these guys gang up on Riki, we are done. And they're also absurdly fast, as you might be noticing. But they die pretty quickly. Yeah. Didn't think that was going to be that easy, did you?
And what makes this so aggravating is because they're so fast that you have to have very high mobility to be able to outturn them. And Riki's down to one life point already. If any other slime touches him, we're done. I may have to uh, do this in the way that I really would like not to, but I may not have a choice in the matter. Yep, Riki's down. This is the most infamous, well, second most infamous battle in Riki's story. Okay. So who has the highest mobility is the first question. I think it's going to be Feon. Yeah, Feon has 70 right now. Um, instead of the Warrior's Ring, let's give him... Unless that Warrior's Ring is why he has that. Actually, I bet it is. Right? Yeah, that's the strength. Okay. Let's give him the Thieves' Ring. Okay, that gives him 80 mobility. Okay. Anyone else have any AoEs? Mirror Shade, but I don't think it's going to affect these guys. Or not Mirror Shade, but uh, Fascination. Glass Shield would actually be more beneficial. think he does. Mei I know doesn't. Her magic is pitiful right now anyway. Alright. So, we're going to try it this way. And we're going to actually end up having to speed this up. Have everyone except for him defend and Feon because he's going to use the thief. Let me slow it down for this. The thieves' ring. So the rings do this. Oh boy. That's not good. Hmm. That's only part of the, uh, part of the problem. I think what I have to do is have everyone except for Riki D um, D form there. Let me do that. Getting past the Magma Slime battle is yeah. It's pain. So Riki defend, you do that. I'm going to have you do Glass Shield, because that will save you from at least one. Uh, I don't know what she can do, except for Phantasm Shot, maybe. And Thieves' Ring.
What does that do again? Oh, it's charm. Okay. You defend. I'm amazed the glass shield didn't break in Viz. I'm fairly certain Flash Fire is not going to do anything to these guys, considering they have Flash uh, Fire Veil on. They immediately got rid of the one who's using AOEs. I guess I could see if they're they're charmable at this point, because I don't think anything else is gonna save me here. Nope, they are not. a way of healing life points, but, you know, that I don't. <sighs> this battle is a thing, that's for sure. They just will not leave Riki alone. Okay, got one more thing I'm gonna try. Mm, is there anything I can do here? I don't think so. Curious because glass shield can be cast without hmm. give me a moment. Just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna heal everyone's MP. This may this may fly in uh kind of hit me in the face here, but... Wait. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do with her. Nothing else I can really do with him, either. The Flash Fire is not really useful here. Flash Flood, maybe. I'll try it if it doesn't... If my primary... That's it, doesn't work. Because I have an idea on something. Also forgot that the ring can be used by anyone, because they take precedence. Alright, let's see here. Defend, defend. You use magician. You defend, and you use thieves ring. It did work. Okay. I don't think that's working though, because that didn't seem to. They must be immune to instant death. Okay. 
second chance. Um... Yeah, they're outright immune to that. Oh boy. Yeah, I had a feeling he was fixing to get ambushed. Okay. Well, hopefully, Ice Worm can get enough damage in there without getting hoarded by everything. Stop targeting Ice Worm. Highland or whatever he is. I mean, he's an ice worm right now, but well, that one should be dead. Okay, now they're all respawned, so these are all full health. There's only two hits left on Highland. And Kylan's down. Dang it. Things just have too much HP. And I don't have enough AoEs. There are way too many of these things. Well, um, <laughs> oh, that's that is the problem. We're we'll save that for later. Okay, so that is the one that I can't do right now. Here's today's contestant. Please give them a, give them a real big round of applause. What is your name? I'm Riki. Well, Riki, today's your big day. Are you ready for super high and low? Do you know the rules? No, I don't remember the rules exactly. Here are the rules. Compare the values of item B with uh, that of item A. If A, B costs more than A, choose high. If you think it costs less, choose low. Then compare the next item with the preceding one. Get it right eight times, you win Virgil's key. If you make a mistake, you'll have to play a penalty game. There's the first item, Eagle Gun. This is Katana. Uh, they're almost equal. I think the eel gun. Uh, I think the katana is. Oh no, it's higher. Uh oh, penalty game time. Yeah, this is an interesting little thing. So we've all been transformed into monsters.
So, yeah, this is a thing. Okay, Rune Sword. That is definitely higher. Zweihinder. It's lower. Hidden Dragon? I think that's higher. Oh no, it's lower. Yeah, now it gets tougher. He's gonna dodge tail, and I guess I'll have to punch him. <laughs> Pin Dragon Cyber Suit is definitely higher. I am bad at this. Ah, why are you all defending? Be punching. Warlord's armor. Missile pod. And you get whatever the last item he, he uh, told you about is. So I got whatever that armor was. So yeah, we're gonna skip going down there. Let's see if we can go ahead and finish these up here. Oh yeah. So each of these switches causes a uh, bowling ball effect. I think this one is the one right here next to me. If you miss the target it's intended for, they come after you. I'm bad at this. We fought plenty of crystal trees. There's nothing, nothing special here. I think the problem is my team is built for single target for very, very good reasons, and I'm not ready for a mass AOE fight. <laughs> that was an accident, but it was totally worth it. Okay, and the last room that we haven't seen is probably the second most annoying of them. This room. <sighs> yep, this room is a maze of spikes. Every time you get pricked on a spike, you have to fight something.
trying to get out of her way. You do not want to end up having to fight that thing. Because that makes this absolutely miserable. This path is so exact, it's not even funny. Oh, hold up. Mmm, Lich. Ew. Fortunately, it dies quickly now, but I still eat a lich. Oh no! I mean, liquid battle is better than nothing, but... Oops. Yeah, reflect reverse gravity, why don't you? Actually, I want him to get that because, uh. Oh, Gaze of Death. Okay, then. Oh, come on. Yeah, this... this room is very annoying. As long as I don't end up... because I'm pretty sure you can attack that... that lady who's walking the path and end up having to uh, find the path on your own at that point. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. Come on. This isn't as bad as the Magma Slimes, though. Because the Magma Slimes are just... just... mean-spirited. <laughs> like, it, there's ways around them, and I'm probably gonna have to look up some stuff to make sure that I'm getting it right. I know that part of the strategy is you can use Hide to... you know, hide. Oh, a Mimic. Well, that could be annoying. Well, I mean, could be annoying. Not saying that it's going to be annoying. Oh, I got Charm Gaze. Okay. Yeah, I think she's coming back and she's gonna... Oh, no. Okay, she didn't run into me. Come on. Okay, 
Okay, she's going back up there. Oh, wonderful. A Cyclops. <laughs> Crippling gaze. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hello. Oh no, he got Feral Pounce, so at least he doesn't have the rest of it. And there we go. Thankfully, he just teleports us out. So, that's probably going to do it for now. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about the Magma Slimes. But we're quickly approaching the end, though, not going to lie. The last thing we need is the last Virgil Key, because if you look at our items, we have uh, 7 out of 8. And... Yeah, so we need the last Virgil key, and then the end will be within sight. But we're going to have to save that for next time. And if I could not stop running into things. And until then, we hope to see you again. Later. Really gotta figure out what to do about those magma slimes.